king You can still serve the most high or live a basic life If you got some problems with your people, you should make it right Walking through the valley in the shadows, don't forget your lamb Heard they hate Sakari, but be careful, we got sticks at camp I feel like I'm Deacon the Kai in 2010 GMS was hating on me cause I was riding in the bins Condemning me when I repented for my sin But I have the finer things You can still serve the most high or live a basic life If you got some problems with your people, you should make it right Walking through the valley in the shadows, don't forget your lamb Heard they hate Sakari, but be careful, we got sticks at camp I feel like I'm Deacon the Kai in 2010 GMS was hating on me cause I was riding in the bins Shalom First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahushua by Hashem Yahweh. Yahweh is the name of the Holy Father, the word ignorant calls God, and his name means he exists. And Yahweh Shah's name is the only begotten Son, the word ignorant calls Jesus Christ. And his name means he delivers by Hashem is in the name, Rikak is the Holy Spirit. I want to give double honor to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone rule well. Peace and blessings to the Shaiqim that's pushed forth in the truth. Without the four corners of the earth, I want to say shalom to you, brothers, and keep pushing. And a double shalom to the Israelites that look like the other nations. And since Shaiqim, I want to say shalom to you, brothers and sisters, as well. My name is Dawa Dar from GMS Line St. Louis Camp. And I'm coming back at it with a, another video. And from what you just see, it's just nonsense. Um, Shakari back at it again. You know, the name of this video is Senseless. All right. And it's all spiritual because these dudes are carnal. These dudes have no spiritual sense whatsoever. So, yeah, you're right. They senseless. They're not using the senses that the Most High gave them to um, make proper judgments and decisions. You know, I wonder what goes on through these dudes' heads when they do stuff like this. Hey, this is probably going to offend the Most High. This is probably going to. Uh, you know, people are gonna probably rebuke me for this. You know, and this number one, the fear of the Most High, because if you really feared the Most High, you wouldn't do stuff like this. Cause you Howard Shaw, you went out there rapping and um, having guns. Well, guns didn't exist, but having swords. You know, gun is a modern day sword. But this is going to show you that these dudes are carnal, man, and. Um, this dude, hold on. Have the you know, they got, you know, dreads and guns. And, like, look at this dude beard. You got a marred up beard and all that. So you got, got the Glock with the extendo. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The fitted hat on, bald head. All right, this dude like a straight, worldly nigga, you know? And... Hey, this is why we good on you, but we know that you're not going to repent. Now, like the brother posted the scriptures, I read it. 2 Timothy 3 and 13. But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. Right. So this dude, he deceiving the people and he being deceived and his damn self. And this is the same dude that said, hey, the Bible is not the word of God, but the word of God is, is written in the Bible. And which that's a damn contradiction in itself because the Bible is the word of God because the word of God is written in the Bible the Bible and the word of God is one and the same you know Bible just comes from the Greek word bibliosis which means a collection of books all right so yeah these guys um talking about uh yeah with my designer jeans and all that which is nothing wrong with wearing designer jeans um, technically, because it's just clothes. But at the end of the day, and when you come to this truth, you got to be ready to suffer. He talking about some, you can have the finer things and all that. And it's nothing wrong with buying a house or a car, or nothing like that, because we got to, um, you know, get two, two and four. If you can have a chance to get more money or buy a house or a better car by all means necessary, if you can't afford to do it, right? But we're not trying to become rich and, you know, uh, get the best looking woman, you know, mess with these hoes and 
drive a Lamborghini and all that, like we some niggas in the world. All right. But we know that this place is over and all this stuff is about to be non-exempt. All right. So this is Leviticus 19 and 27. You shall not round the corners of your heads. Neither shall thou mar the corners of thy beard. Yeah, that dude, he had a marred up beard. Let's, let's go back. And look at his beard. Hold on. So, like, his beard is all the way down by his, um, by, like, the middle of his ear. And, yeah, you pretty much mourn off the corner because uh, your sideburn is like a corner. Right? Especially if you bald, that's a corner, bro. So, you cutting into it. So, you basically shaving off parts of your beard. So, yeah, you mourn it up. And that's his sin. You know, and hey, you brothers out there in GMS, if you're doing it, don't do that. Because we already told you brothers in GMS that, and which I've done it myself, you know, I'm just throwing it out there just in case brothers say, oh, you did it. You know, that's cool. You know, and I repented from that. But you looking real whirly, bro. You got to. Be as spiritual as possible because the disciples they didn't have beards like that you know it's not a sin for you to cut your hair none of that but you ain't supposed to be cutting into your beard like that trying to do like a little taper fade and all that it's just best if you just keep your hair all one length if you want to cut it short cut it short if you want to grow it out grow it out it's that simple. But don't be marring into your beard like that. So, you know, trying to look all worldly and making baldness on his head and all that. And we could, I can go days and days, you know, getting on this guy. Um, matter of fact, Leviticus 21 and 5. They shall not make baldness upon their head, neither shall thou shave off the corner of thy beard. Nor make any cutters in their flesh, right? And this is going into the um, the priest, you know. And I'm not sure if you're a priest or not. You're like a Judite, but. Because, um, hey, we all kings and priests. You know, Yahweh should be in the top priest from the tribe of Judah. Because the Lord, he done away with the Leviticus priesthood. All right. Because all the tribes are priests now. So what does that mean? We all have to seek to be like uh, priests and kings like Yahweh Shai. You know, and hey, this dude, he shaving off his head. And that's a sin according to the Bible. Talking about GMS was hating on him because he got a Benz. Like, nigga, ain't nobody hating on you, bro. We don't even care about this world, nor this chrono stuff in the world. You know, it's, it's okay to buy, quote, unquote, nice things. According to the world, it's nothing technically wrong with it. But at the end of the day, when martial art happened, all these famines happened and all that, right, we're going to be like, fuck it. Because uh, this place going to be destroyed anyway. So forget it. Exodus 20 and 17. Thou shalt not cover thy neighbor's house. Thou shalt not cover thy neighbor's wife. Nor his manservant, nor his maidservant, nor his ox, nor his ass, nor anything that is thy neighbor's. Right? Because that's breaking the 10th commandment. You ain't supposed to cover anything that is thy neighbor's. Anything. All right? Um, hey, that goes in like how he look, how tall he is. Because the Lord made you who you are. Uh, anything tangible, you ain't supposed to covet. Because all you got to do, is if, if if you want more money, you need more money, you need a better living situation, you can just pray to the most out for that. But we ain't got to hate on you, bro. We ain't hating on none of these, uh, these uh, celebrity niggas and rich niggas. Because you 
Sakari, you know, y'all niggas want to be celebrities. Like, we ain't trying to be celebrities of this world. Uh, all we trying to do, we just trying to just make it to the other side. Make it to the kingdom. So we don't have to stress and uh, go through all this shit that we going through. Because, uh, hey, we going to have a chariot, bro. We ain't going to be worrying about no damn Benz or no Lamborghini or no Charger or Challenger or um, Nissan 350Z or whatever. These type of cars these people drive. We ain't going to be worried about that. All right, we're going to have a chariot. And the chariot is a all-terrain vehicle because... If you know anything about the chariots, hey, the chariots can go um, lightning speeds, 13,000 miles an hour, probably faster, most likely. They can go in and out of water, out of space. That's an all-terrain vehicle. All right? So, bro, we ain't worried about no bands, bro. So this is uh, 1 John 2 and 15. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Right? Because you dudes looking like y'all love the world. All right? <laughs> y'all love the world. Because y'all don't want y'all watching y'all try to come back. Y'all don't want to go through the straight gate. Because, he, you know, he, he talking about having riches on earth. And all that. And all this stuff is about to be destroyed. Because just in case if you forgot, bro, bro. That so-called white man is still in power. All right. And your people are still in slavery. Verse 16. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the father, but is of the world. All right. So the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, the pride of life. Yeah, because them dudes is real prideful. All right, because we be getting on y'all about y'all pride and saying that, hey, you're not supposed to do that, bro. You know, And that's all out of love, but we know that you dudes, you're not going to take the warning because you want to do what you want to do. Y'all like children, kids, you see, because you got to look past all the carnality and... How these people, quote unquote, be having fun and all this other bullshit. Because majority of those people are going to be destroyed. At least they repent. But we already know that two thirds of you, Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, um, are going to get cut off. It says, it's not of the Father, but it's of the world. Yeah, so, bro, you're not of the Father. Because, hey, the, hey, the Lord can. Can give you riches, bro. The Lord can give you riches if that's what He want to do. The Lord can give you woman if you asked, but at the end of the day, as far as um, in the game that we in now, with this world about to be destroyed, you should be praying for spiritual things and not carnal things. All right, because everything that we see is about to get destroyed because these bodies that we in now they not going to even make it because we going to shed all these uh, flesh and put on immortal clothing so this is uh, Matthew 10 and 5 and it reads these 12 your house shall sent forth commanded them saying go not into the way of the Gentiles and into any city that Samaritans into you not we go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And as you go, preach, saying, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out devils. Freely ye have received, freely give. Provide neither gold nor silver nor brass in your purses, nor script for your journey, neither two coats, neither shoes, nor your staffs, for the workman is worthy of his meat. Right. So this is our duty. Um, you're going to the lost sheep of the house of Israel and just um, teaching them. All right. Uh, let's keep reading. And into whatsoever city or town you shall enter, inquire who in it is worthy, and there abide till ye go thence. 
And when ye come into a house, salute it. And if the house be worthy, let your peace come upon it. But if it be not worthy, let your peace return unto you. And whosoever shall not receive you nor hear your words when ye depart out of that house or city, shake off the dust of your feet. Verily I say unto you, it shall be more tolerable for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah and the day of judgment than for that city. Right. So, yeah. Um, yeah, so that's what we're doing, going out to the highways and the byways. And we teaching our people, saying, hey, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Because you Negroes, you still got uh, one, one foot in, one foot out. One foot in the world, one foot out. You can't worship the Most High and Mammon, bro. This is not going to work. You you have to choose your side. And that's what we're coming up into. We're coming into a period of time where you're going to have to choose your side. If um, if you're going to worship the Most High in truth and sincerity or not, bro. Matthew 6 and 19. Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth, where moth and rust does corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt, and where these do not break through nor steal. But where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Right. And this dude, um, well, all you Sakari, your heart is on this in this world. Cause bro, really you don't want the most how to come back, bro. You bro, you fine with going out there to the highways and the byways teaching. With however many subscribers that you have, 30,000, 36,000, 40,000, and, um, you know, getting money like that. And you basically turning the truth into a circus, all right, um, to gain money and all the other stuff. That's what you're doing, bro. Because um, you lack faith. That all boils down to you lacking faith. As a man of the Lord. Because you don't see the bigger picture. as all you see. Because you got to open up your spiritual eye. Bro, you cool messing around with one of these hoes and doing that. And which is nothing wrong with dealing with a woman. But at the end of the day, we know that majority of these women out here, especially our own women, are whores. And... You messing with a woman, <laughs> I like Sakari say that he, uh, you know, he a high priest and all that and putting himself on the pedestal. But you got to be looking for virgins if you looking and trying to keep the law perfectly. All right. Because if you uh, deal with a woman and most likely the nigga that took her virginity, he's still alive. So you just committed adultery, bro. Come on now. And, and even if he's not alive, like let's say he did, she's still a whore, so you're still breaking the commandment. Because if you're a priest, a high priest, you're not supposed to marry a whore. Verse 22, the light of the body is the eye. If therefore thy eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. But if thy eye be evil, thy whole body shall be full of darkness. And if therefore the light that is in thee be darkness, how great is thy darkness? Right, because this dude, he got an evil eye. You know, he had the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eye. So whatever draws you, you know, like trying to talk to the prettiest woman, all right, she might be a demon. She might be um, a finesse, you know, a scammer. And we, which we know the Lord is judging a lot of these whores out here. You now, Mercedes Moore, she got her ass. Um, slaughtered by the Edomite, Ishmaelite, whatever he is. All right. And all that. Verse uh, 24. No man can serve two masters, for he will either hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve the Most High in Mammon. Right. So you cannot serve the Most High for ma in, in Mammon. You either hate the one and love the other. You know, you're basically straddling the fence. It's like, bro, like the most I look at you as a, a, an adulteress, bro. It's like you got a woman, right? 
and uh, y'all quote unquote marry y'all together, right? But she's stepping out behind your back and dealing with other dudes, you know, telling the uh, dudes that she messing with, yeah, I got a man, but you can still hit it in in anyway. And then she go back to her, her, her husband house and, you know, do whatever. So now, nah, bro, you you playing both sides of the fence. You're going to have to just choose one. Yeah, man, the most I ain't dealing with no shit like that, bro. So, um, which we already know y'all not going to repent. Obviously, man, you you too far gone. I don't see it. Romans 8 and 6, for to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Right? It's life and, and peace. You know, because you got to look at the uh, the spiritual aspect. You know, spirit means breath. Carnal means flesh. You got to look at the bigger picture of what the Lord is trying to do for you. And the direction that the Lord is trying to move you in. All right? Because y'all dudes, y'all focus on the flesh. You got to focus on the spirit. Because the carnal mind is enmity against the Most High, for it is not subject to the law of God. Neither indeed can be. So then they that are in the flesh cannot please the most high. Right. Because if you carnally minded, that means you're not subject to the law or the most high's will. Like you try to talk to a woman and she say no. See, you don't you don't look at it as okay, but yeah, that's just not the woman for me. The most high didn't want me to have that woman. See, like you keep you you keep trying to talk to her, you know, especially if she got a man. Because we know you dudes commit adultery and all that. Because, you know, like you Sakari dudes, and like you commit adultery. Yeah, it says, verse 9, but ye are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. If so be that the spirit of the Most High dwell in you. Now, if any man have not the spirit of Hamashiach, he is none of his. Right, and you dudes, obviously don't have the spirit. You don't have the breath because it's what the Lord said and what, what goes out of a man defiles him, not what goes into a man. Let's get that scripture real fast. Go back to the book of Matthew 15 and um, start at 18. Matter of fact, I started at 11. I started at 7, man. Matter of fact, let's get all the milk. Uh, ye hypocrites. Well did Isaiah prophesy you saying, These people draw nigh to me with their mouth and honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. But in vain they do worship me, teaching for the doctrines, the commandments of men. Yeah, teaching the doctrines, the commandments of men. All right? Because hey, you, Sakari dudes, and the rest of you other false are like camps, you worship the Most High and His Son in vain. You don't do it the right way. Because the Lord, He already got it uh, the way how He wants you to worship Him. He already told you how. But you know, y'all want to do what y'all want to do. That's why y'all going to be destroyed. Um. Let's read on verse 10. And he called a multitude and said unto them, Hear and understand, not that which goeth into the mouth of into the mouth to follow the man, but that which cometh out of the mouth, this to follow the man. Right? And let's skip down to the point. It says um, verse 15. Then answered Peter and said unto him, Declare unto this this parable. And how shall I say, Are ye yet also without understanding? Do not ye yet understand that whatsoever enter in at the mouth go into the belly, and is cast out into draught? But those things which proceed out of the mouth come forth from the heart, which is your mind, your la'ab, and they defile the man. For out of the heart proceed evil. Thoughts, evil thoughts, murders, adulteries, fornications, thefts, false witness, blasphemies. These are the things which defile a man. 
but to eat with unwashed hands to foul not a man. Right. So, yeah, to eat with unwashed hands to foul not a man. That don't make you wicked, bro. You know? Yeah, um, acting like a Shikari dude, that's what makes you wicked. <sighs> yeah, but we know y'all not going to get it. Hey, so with that, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shah, Bashim, Hope that was edifying. Jello on.